All right, I think that that's it. We're live. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Monday night awesome, incredible episode of Omni Bros Live. I'm going to be doing the hosting duty today. I am Gabe the Babe. And I'm coming at you all the way from Las Vegas to talk about halls, reads, and this week's previews and releases from InStockTrades.com and from just regular releases for this week. Uh, next to me over this way is my other better Hispanic half, my boy Gio. Say what's up, sir. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Omni Bros Live. Happy to be here. Yeah, I get everything set up for this. Usually I just come in, talk nonsense, but now I got responsibilities. I got to set this stuff up. <laughs> like I got to get the email so I know what the discounts are this week. I just type hmm. email in my browser. That's not how this works. <laughs> but we've been up to, Gio. What's what kind of trouble have you been getting into? Not much. I've been trying since Saturday to write up a script for a video that I wanted. That I'm nearly done. It, it's taking me way too long, so it's probably going to come out later in the week. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm doing like a top ten. Um, uh, anime of 2019 and I, I, I'm going all out and doing something really cool with it. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been taking me forever. <laughs> you got any plans or traditions for, for tomorrow, for New Year's Eve? I mean, several family members like to gather up and do like a small little get-together and party and, and stuff, but I don't know. I just want to sleep. <laughs> and then <laughs> when it's when the it's midnight, I'll be like, hey, happy new year, kiss everybody, and then I'll go back to bed. I don't care about that stuff. I hate fireworks too. No. So not for me. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be terrible here. Fourth of July uh, Fourth of July is terrible for fireworks, and New Year's Eve is just as terrible. Oh, I can just imagine. as bad. All right, so I got all that set up. Yeah, dude, it's mm -hmm. it's the worst. My my poor dog. I hate. I hate yeah. uh, fireworks because my dog gets messed up. I used to not be a fan, but that the whole dogs and fireworks, I, I don't like it. Because they're, they're in pain, I'm in pain, you know? No, I hear you. I hear you on that. I think I hear your dog now. All right, so let's go and let's get this started up. Uh, let's start before we begin everything. We have to give... The big shout out for our sponsor, InStockTrades.com. Yes, everybody's favorite number one spot to grab your omnibus, collected editions, hardcovers, manga, anything else is definitely InStockTrades.com, where you get free shipping in the US on orders over $50 or more. You get excellent customer service from Emily and the whole crew over there. And you get top notch, top of the line, number one, puts everybody else to shame, shipping and packaging. That's from our awesome friends over at InStockTrades.com, who, uh, I don't know how to do the banner thing right now. Uh, InStockTrades.com, that's our sponsor. And then we also oh. have an Omni Bros Live code, right? Omni Bros yep. Live code, uh, which is year end sale, right? I think so, yeah. I think that's right. Let's see if we can get that to work. There we go. Omni Bros Live code, year end sale. Save an additional 3%. On your nice. orders, they it does not stack with the, any other discounts going on or with the loyalty discount, but you can make multiple orders. So take advantage of that $50 free shipping, make a $50 uh, order, make another $50 order, make another $50 order, whatever you got to do, but you can keep using your in sale for an additional 3% off from our wonderful sponsor, InStockTrades.com. 
There we go. I got this figured out. I, I can up. do this. Hell, hell yeah, bro. Uh, yeah. The yeah. code lasts until tomorrow, right? Tomorrow night? It's 30 into tomorrow. Right. So you can do it today. It's going to be so it will work on new releases. So the new releases you see this week, you could get an additional 3% off using that year in sale code. Nice. Uh, some right. uh, Chad Omni Dog song, Gabe. <laughs> you, uh, no, you that, we leave to, that for the senior citizen. You want to. I ain't doing it. Uh, no, I'm good. Omni Dog <laughs> is out for tonight. He's on assignment. Uh, we'll have to catch him. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, maybe we'll catch him on uh, the Utaku Bro show. That's not gonna happen. Who knows? He's yeah, actually yeah. going. He's actually going to the doctor. Yeah. All right, and shout out to everybody in the chat. We we got we got we got people kicking it hard in there today. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's make this happen. Let's go ahead and continue with uh, the show. Geo, uh, did you? How do we want to do this today? Did you read any? Yeah, let's go into reads first, and then halls. I. But I did start reading uh, this manga, Magical Girl Apocalypse. Oops. Gothic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Character. This is pretty uh, uh, violent and perverse and I, I, it's a fun on magical girls um mish genre with zombie apocalypse stories and it's basically a story but instead you have uh sort of like this supernatural characters that appear that are you know they look like magical girls like sailor moon characters stuff like that they start invading, cool. I, I think it's Tokyo, and just straight up murdering people. And whoever they murder uh, gets turned into zombies and, and sort of like a zombie plague. And you don't get attached to too many characters because people keep dying left and right. But you're trying to find out the mystery of these girls and this uh, plague and stuff. So, yeah, it's a mashup of otaku culture, magical girls, and zombies. Magical girl popular. That's nice. cool. And super not safe for work. I don't want to open the pages here because it's pretty violent. I don't want to get people upset, but uh, it's definitely sixteen and up. It says in the back, but yeah. Gio, we 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 both live in America or America territories. Violence is okay. You just can't show boobs. Well, uh, sure. I mean, is there boobs and violence? Because then I really want to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there, there's some brief nudity as well. But here's some of the. The uh, gore and violence with one of the characters. Uh, is it how many how many volumes up there is this? The series uh, ends with sixteen volumes, but I think there's like two spinoff mangas, one that also ended and another that's currently ongoing. Because uh, on the Otaku Bro show, we talked about a uh, recent solicit for the new volume. So yeah, very cool. That looks good. I like I like I like violence. I like the art on that. The manga looks nice. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty wild, cute. man. It kind of reminds me of like uh uh what was that? Uh High School of the Dead? No. Uh Yeah, High School of the Dead was the uh uh about the zombies and stuff. Yeah. Like the little kitty girl like Monster High or something like that. I think that's what mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. Yeah, I really I I want to show this off, but I like I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of blood and guts and, and people being murdered. If you like that sort of thing, I, I think you're going to have a fun time. It's more fun, uh, cheesy, campy fun. Uh, it's not like super serious or anything, but it, it's a it's a wild ride. Very cool. Was that it for you? Yeah. Yeah. I've been reading that series. I'm up to volume four. Uh, again, I, I'm working on something for my channel, so I haven't had the time yeah. to read other books. No, that's cool, man. I, I like the look of that book. 
All right, so uh, I've been killing it on... This is on Odyssey. I hope everybody's kind of strapped in. This might be a kind of manga-heavy episode. Um, yeah. So, let's, let's see. It. Let's it do it. Uh, One Piece. I got a One Piece shirt. I got... Actually, my wife got me this for Christmas. This Ooh, One Piece shirt. Nice. It's got uh, this really cool map on the back. Oh, oh that's so it. awesome. I yeah, love it. Adult shirt. <laughs> Nice. With my big back. Um, yeah, so we're getting in with One Piece. Uh, I finished up uh, the three-in-one number two, which is yeah. volumes four, five, and six. Nice. This is a great one. This is this is, this is a fun, fun romp with uh, Luffy and his crew. Uh, it's still in the very early stages of this, of this book. I'm still holding it backwards because it's, it's manga. Uh, so yeah, you you read this stuff before, right? So you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about uh, uh, the whole Butler storyline and and the princess of the village, not the princess. Um, yeah. was she a princess? Uh, yeah, no, she was the princess just, of the little village, right? Just like super. She's rude. just a rich girl. Yeah, she was yeah. just a rich girl who was sick, and the butler ended up being, you know, a, a baddie, a bad guy. Uh, so I read through all of that. And then I also, and then I, I also read through volumes seven, eight, and nine. So the three in one volume, yes, three here. This is the introduction of a uh, of Sanjay, uh, you see here in the mm -hmm. back, who is. This is a great storyline too. This is all this almost this entire thing takes place on yep. a restaurant in the middle of the ocean. Where all the cooks are like the baddest of the bad pirates who just kind of wanted to get out of the life of being a pirate, or just they were just too bad and they just couldn't get along with other pirates, and they were always fighting. So they were always fighting, and now they're cooks, always fighting in a restaurant. So, uh, so it goes into that. You get the introduction of uh, Sanjay, who is uh, an awesome new character, and it also goes into the story of uh, Nami. And the origin story of Nami and some kind of nefarious things going on in her past life. And it ends on this massive cliffhanger where my boy Luffy, I love Luffy. He, he is he is the best. And he stays out of trouble for the most part. But then at the very end, something happens and he goes, okay, I'm ready to step in. And get involved with this business. And it ends on that. And I was like, God damn it. What the <laughs> shit? So uh um I had to, so I'm gonna skip ahead uh to read. I had to go out and get the next couple of volumes. I couldn't I couldn't not know what was going on with that. Awesome. So this uh, is my my haul as well. That scene uh, is, uh, that you pointed out. Part. That scene that you mm -hmm. pointed out is still a fan favorite to this day. That that is like really the pinnacle of the East Blue saga, and you are in for a treat. That's my favorite part of what you're reading. I love the the uh, story arc that you're uh, about to enter. It's so awesome. Yeah, with the with the uh, the fishmen pirates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really cool stuff. Uh, I had to go out and get it. I was like, God damn it, man. I, you can't just leave me <laughs> hanging like that, bro. And I was just, I'm going to go get it. I had to go get these other two volumes. Uh, okay, awesome. so back on reads, though. Like I said, I've been killing it with the manga. I also knocked out uh, Fairy Tale Volume 1. What did you think? I liked it. I liked it. It's, uh, I'm digging it. It's, it's, uh, it's really, it's, it's, it's different of a, of a manga a lot. Because from what I've read mainly, it's, it's always like a, a group of men or men are like the main protagonist. But in this one, I, I thought it was going to be Natsu. Yeah. So real quick, just give everybody an idea. Uh, so fairy tale. I'll read the back of it, give you guys an idea of what it's about. A uh, cute girl wizard, Lucy, wants to join the fairy tale, a club for the most powerful wizard. So kind of got to think of it as like, it's got a little bit of a Harry Potter feel to it right there. But instead, her, her ambitions land her in the clutches of a gang of unsavory pirates led by a devious magician. Her only hope is Natsu. That's Natsu. He's cool. Uh, a strange boy she happens to meet on her travels. Natsu is not your typical hero. He gets motion sickness, eats like a pig, and his best friend is a talking cat. 
her friends like this is Lucy better off with her enemies so great story uh it starts out it's it's also one of the first uh, manga ever it's not that bad it, it it's a little more there's like just boob jokes and there's a lot of like you know um yeah. sexist stuff going on here sexist mean it's a part of the storyline like that nefarious magician they're talking about is a magician who uses a gleam and is able to like make people fall in love with them. And he's using that as really terrible, like date rapey kind of a, a creepy vibe going on. Um, and that's what you get in that too. But uh, Lucy, the little blonde haired girl here, she seems to be like the main character of the story. You're kind of learning the world through her naivete, her, her being so naive about everything. And you're learning all the stuff about her, you know, all the different types of guilds. And she, she's, she's not just some girl. She's a, a celestial wizard where she has special keys where she's able to summon uh, certain celestial creatures from like the Zodiac and other things like that to help her out. She comes in handy. She holds her own. She's not just, you know, uh, some damsel in distress, but she seems to be the main character that you kind of have to kind of relate to because you don't know what's going on. And you're learning a lot with this. Also, what's different is this is a Kadancha book. It's, it's published by Kadancha. And yeah. apparently, what I liked about this is they, they explain um, a lot of the uh, the culture and the language that has to be translated that might not really work in American language. And they also, what I also like, let me see if I can highlight myself, is I also like... Not, none of the other manga that I read have done this. Um, let's see if I can kind of get this on here, right? All the little like sound effects. Yeah. Usually the sound effects are, are still written the Japanese characters, and you have no idea what's going on. But they actually translate that, which is cool because that kind of helps. I, I think that helped with the reading a little bit as well. And in the back, they talk about it's a whole world developing thing too. Like, they got their own currency and their own kind of money, so it talks about how the money is. It's like her, her apartment is 70,000 uh, jewels. And they talk to you in the back about, they explain that, well, that's translated into like yen dollars, not like American dollars. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yen dollars is a thousand dollars. A thousand yen is like one American dollar. So her rent's like 700 bucks. Uh, so they explain a lot of stuff into it. And I like that. So it kind of gets a little bit more, gives me a little bit more solid footing on, on manga and stuff like that as well. So nice. So that's, that's awesome. what I've been tearing through. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep reading this a little bit, but I, I just got to get through One Piece. Like, it's I have a lot ahead. I mean, I really, I'm kind of debating if I'm going to buy all the three in ones as I go through them and read them, or if I want to just kind of do like the Shonen app, uh, the Shonen Jump app instead, or what. But I'm enjoying. Yeah. There's over having the boxes. all of these nice cool books. The, the, yeah, I saw those you boxes. Can buy the box too. Yeah, they're expensive. Yeah, but I already got. I'm already, I'm already fifteen. Is it? 15, I'm already fifteen volumes in, so I don't really want to go back yeah. and buy you know a couple hundred dollars for the box sets and stuff too. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm good with that right now. Yeah. Uh, nerdy by nature, real quick. Uh, Just isn't here today. He's uh he's at the hospital. He's uh he has diarrhea pains. <laughs> oh. Shout out to Omni Dog. Hope he yeah. gets well soon. Uh, hope he gets better quick. Yeah. El Denver, real quick, he says he just started One Piece. Yeah. Nice. That is cool. Uh, I want to know what you think so far. How far are you? What do you think? Are you reading it? Are you just watching the anime? Uh, I kind of want to know what's up. One Piece is one of those series where the world building just gets better and better as you go along. And then later on you get references to things that you started reading from and it makes up for it in a big way and the more you read into the stories the more you get hooked and from here onward you're just going to be uh raving about one piece and wanting to read more and more story arcs it's it's that great of a series in my opinion i i already i already am that i want to get caught up because i've seen some some of these uh like little model kits or statues came into the mm. store of, of Sanjay. It was a 20th yeah. anniversary uh, Bandai SH Big Yard uh, Zero Art. So they're just like, it's an action figure, but there's no posability to it. It's like a little statue. And on yeah. the side of it shows like 
what everybody looks like now, like because I'm starting, I'm 20 years behind, but what they look like now, and like Luffy is like he's grown up. He's got like this big old gnarly scar on his chest, and he's got like muscles, and and Sanji looks super cool, and there's a couple other guys on there that look really great. There's like a like a skull dude with an afro. I'm like, what is this? I want to know what's going on with the rest of these guys. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm trying to catch up as fast as I can. It's a lot. uh, But, you know, I've been, uh, I think 2020 is going to be 99% manga for me. Uh, I'm not going to, I think there's going to be maybe one or two books, like superhero related Marvel DC books I'm going to buy next year that I know of. Uh, One of them is going to be the Silver Surfer reprint. That's going to happen. The Peter David hulk omnibus and there's a third one uh that i can't say uh because it's kind of you know it's a rumor i guess but it's probably really going to happen i'm I'm positive because our source on this rumor is is rock solid uh but that's going to be the other one that 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 third one i'm going to buy silver surfer is day one that third one that I'm I'm being really sketchy about and not really saying it, its name, that's a day one buy to Peter David. I'm like, can wait. But it's going to be, besides that, it's going to be My Hero Academia and One Piece and Fairy Tale and other little things that I can just glom onto. So there we go. Awesome. Uh, did you, oh, any uh, any pickups for you, bud? Uh, nope. Just uh, getting over the holiday sales because they've been crazy. You mean going? Did you go crazy on that yourself? No, oh, I have way too much stuff that I'm playing, and and some manga that actually, um, my Junji Ito no longer human at a uh, book finally shipped. I okay. made the mistake of bundling that with January pre-orders, and so I had to wait. Uh, but fortunately, they they got it in and they shipped it, so I'm really excited that it gets here. Very cool. Uh, see what we've got going on in the chat here. Shout out to Sequential Consequence. Nelson, my man. He's in the chat. Oh, also real quick. In uh, our description, we have three polls that we want to kind of pimp out for you guys today. Somehow, yeah, somewhere on Facebook, there's a independent creators group. And they, they created a poll of the best uh, YouTube community outreaching video groups. And somehow, some way, Omni Bros is on there. And we're doing pretty good on the poll right now. Uh, so down below in the description is the link to that poll. Uh, so if you have the time and the effort, I think you have to be a part of the group. You can just join the group, vote for us if you want, and then exit out, whatever. I don't know. Um, there's also a, another poll in there for our boy, Frank Gogol, who we've had on the show. Good friend, long time uh, viewer, long time member of the group as well, uh, for best writer. And the third poll is for best new series that we're helping to pimp out for Frank as well, where you can vote for his triumphant three issue mini series, dead end kids that took the comic book community by storm and was a huge hit on the aftermarket prices went up really crazy on that book. So, and it's well, it's well deserved. There's a fantastic book put out by source point press. Mm -hmm. So if you have the time and the effort, please go to those links and vote away and help us and help our boy Frank out too. All right, so it looks like Gio's getting a little busted up with his internet right now. So, sorry, you good? You good, Joe? No, it's all yeah, good, man. Yeah. You don't need to apologize, bro. We know how it is. Have you uh, have you read Gantz? Uh, no, uh, I, I've been wanting to. Some of my uh, otaku bring it about it and how awesome and violent and degenerate and also wholesome it is so i really want to check it out it's one of those series that i i skipped because i didn't know too much about it and and i mm-hmm. heard bad things about it some videos and so i really want to read it 
Yeah, I watched the movies, the live action movies, and they were pretty good. I liked it a lot. But apparently, the manga, I've seen like toys and other things that show up in the order forms. It's it's yeah. it's a little super sexy, which is really you know interesting as well. <laughs> but if it's anything like the like the the movies, and you know, it's a lot of action and violence and after death and stuff like that. So. Trying to get those links for everybody. There, like I said, there the links for the polls are. If you just click below in the description, they're they're there. Yeah. Oh, to, to be a part of a, a voting thing because I've never been in that. To chat, and I'm like, wow, that's awesome. Like, I don't, yeah. uh, I, fiction, I guess from uh group members so it always it's it's awesome to see the feedback and people supporting omni bros and, and loving the channel omnibus collectors network really cool. yeah it's great i mean it's it's for best on-air uh, talent for video radio or podcast and i honestly don't know who all these other uh nominees are on this poll it all seems to be super indie indie related uh but yeah we ended up on there and uh we're rocking and rolling so that's awesome all right so let's do this yeah uh candace if you go to the link it's a, it's a facebook group yeah. thing it's not like a real youtube award or anything like that but any any support is 1000 percent appreciated from us uh you have to join that group i guess just join it click on us then you know bounce out if you want to all right so let's do this let's go ahead and just keep this show rolling uh since it's just the two of us let's do mm -hmm. you ready to do some previews see what's going on for today sure what is coming out for two tomorrow let's go ahead and screen share some stuff up shout out to everybody email. in the chat we got i did got the email that's all set up and ready to go um i do this can i then do uh that nope nice. that's not how that works how does this work how does just do it okay that's how just does it all right uh all right, so let's go ahead. How's this look, yeah. Gilles? Is everything popping up cool for you? All right. So this is... Uh, you can't see it yet. Okay, a uh, little bit of a delay. No worries. Perfect. All right. So let me know if there's any questions or anything like that. I can't see anything besides just my this, screen. That's the, this week's previews. It's 20. Yep, this is the first week of 2020. This is things that are scheduled to come out January 1, uh, which probably is going to happen. I would assume most places it will be closed and uh, mm -hmm. most people will be hungover or watching the Rose Parade or avoiding fireworks or, or whatever. But I think last week, yeah. In Stock Trades had it up and ready to go pretty quick, so... You can find all these releases on our sponsor's website, InStockTrades.com, starting at 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 Pacific. And don't forget the Omni Bros code, you're in sale, and you can save an additional 3% off of your entire order, including these new releases as well. So we're going to start out with Dark Horse Comics. We have Black Hammer Trade Paperback Volume 4. Uh, Age of Doom Part 2 from, I think, somebody, a couple of us, voted Jeff Lemire as best writer for 2019. Uh, we also yeah. have Miniature Final Fantasy No Adventure Too Large and Tomb Raider Omnibus Trade Paperback Volume 2. Uh, nice. IDW this week, we have... Uh, Luca Essentials Hardcover Volume 14, uh, Barney Google 1928. I have no idea what that is. Um, it's probably <laughs> just be old school <laughs> newspaper strips. Yeah. Uh, then we have uh, Marvel Vault of Heroes 
Hulk's biggest and best trade paperback. I, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, written by Paul Benjamin. Okay, this collects. Okay, this collects the uh, all ages books from uh, Marvel Adventures Hulk one through twelve. Mm. And then we have uh, Mighty Elvis, a graphic biography. And That's... I'm sure this is one for our boy Omar. We yeah. have Transformers IDW collection, volume ten from the Phase Two line. All right, and then down on to DC. So we have a new reprint of Absolute Death. I need to get that. We have Batman. Yeah, that's a if, if for the Sand the Sandman fans out there, this is that's top notch stuff for sure. Uh, Batman Gotham Knights, Transference trade paperback, uh, Birds of Prey Huntress trade paperback. Diana, Prince of the Amazons, trade paperback. That looks really cute. That might be a fun all ages book for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, Injustice versus the Masters of the Universe. This is this is a good hit in my store. A lot of people picked this up. Uh, Tim Seeley, uh, Freddie Williams on the art. I mean, you got He Man versus Superman on the cover. What what goes wrong with that? <laughs> and a Wonder Woman uh, Warbinger trade paperback. Is this like a novel book or? It's. I think it's an adaptation of a novel. Okay. Adapted by Louis Simonson. Yeah. All right. Now down into Marvel, we have the uh, Black Bolt hardcover. Oh boy! Yeah. Oh, that's that's one for Geo. <laughs> I'm de I'm still debating if I should upgrade my trades because I, I I I any chance that we can get oversized in humans, I'm all in. I love that series. I never I never got a chance to check it out, but just the art team here. I mean, you got Fraser Irving and and Stephanie Hans. I love Stephanie Hans. Uh, her her variant covers I've, I've seen her do have been fantastic. So, mm -hmm. what's the uh, give us the rundown of this book, Jill? You seem to be the expert. Uh, basically, this book takes place uh, alongside the Royals comic. Uh, recently, the um, in this comic, Black Bolt has been imprisoned after something that happens post uh, Souls in Humans run, and it's about a prison break and how Black Bolt can survive, you know, without uh, without his voice and powers and stuff. And it's it's really good. It's a really good examination of Black Bolt. For new Inhumans fans, I wouldn't necessarily suggest getting this right away. I would suggest uh, dipping your toes in the uh, Paul Jenkins stuff uh, from back in the day, because this is uh, heavy into the Charles Soule run. You know, he wrote a bunch of issues, and it all leads up to uh, Royals and the Black Bolt series. But it's still great, and the art is fantastic. 12 glorious issues. If you like the Inhumans, it's a must get, in my opinion. How many trades is there? Just just two six issue ones. Yeah, two. Okay. All right. Uh, Black Cat Volume One, Grand Theft. Then we also have a Conan Chronicles Epic Collection. Nice. Conan uh, Hour of Dragons, kind of a Conan heavy week. Mm -hmm. Legends of Marvel Spider Man trade paperback. Miles Morales Volume 2, Bring On the Bad Guys, Moon Grown Devil Dinosaur, and we have the Direct Market Variant DM Exclusive. You're going to get this in comic book stores and InStockTrades.com. Uh, New Mutants Epic Collection, Demon Bear Saga. Nice. And then scrolling through here with Dynamite, uh, Dynamite's releasing uh, The Boys Omnibus Volume 1. Uh, this is the photo cover signed by Garth Ennis. Not bad for 30 bucks. Get a signed book out of mm -hmm. it. And the regular edition, 
You also get a James Bond lie, uh, Live and Let Die hardcover. Is this Warren Ellis stuff? No. It's not Warren Ellis. Uh, no. <laughs> Boom Studios has got Drew and Jolt Dueling Doodles original graphic novel. And cool. down here, <laughs> we're... We don't have Jess here to, to to snicker at us anymore and make fun of us, so we can go through here. Um, let me know what you see, Gio. What looks good here, or what are you into? Uh, Ten Dance is a... I think it's a manga about uh, ballroom dancing, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think... Yeah. 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 Ten Dance competition and whatnot. It's a dancing manga, but like Wow, there really is a manga about everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we like to say that, but it's true. They, they, they make stories about everything. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Absalom, I don't know what that is. Akashic has some fan base, but I don't read it, so I don't know what that's about. This dungeon builder looks kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I think I forgot what the premise was. Let's see. Demon Lord decides to break uh, from the evil mold when building his dungeon and develops a pleasant city instead. Oh, okay. So it's it's sort of uh, isekai ish, and and I don't know. I'm not really my thing, but I'm pretty sure it will sell well. Oh, child, how to treat magical beasts. Kakegurui uh, is a fan favorite, too, uh, from what I've read online. It's a gambling manga. Mm -hmm. well, I've heard. My room has a, my room is a dungeon rest stop. The, the premise on that is so crazy bonkers that I really want to read it. Basically, this kid in the background, his uh, rest, his uh, his room is a rest stop, sort of like a alternate, um, what do you call it, like a wormhole, where adventurers on dungeons on another world, when they enter, it's a rest stop so they can relax and stuff. And so it's basically his bathroom slash room is a portal into another dimension. I don't know. That's bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What else? I'm not sure what else is on here. Uh, pretty light week. Yeah. For, uh, for, yeah. It's a it's a holiday weekend, so. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is that. We go and stop the screen sharing. Let's take a look at uh, see what was fifty percent off. I didn't get a chance to do that on air at the same time here. Uh, fifty percent off this week is the Absolute Death hardcover. Nice. You know you can still get it for an extra three percent off. Mm -hmm. if you order it tomorrow. Uh, Batman Gotham Knights Transference. Mm -hmm. The Black Bolt hardcover GL is fifty percent off. Delicious. Nice. Uh, the Black Cat trade paperback is fifty percent off. And Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur is the final 50% off item. It's a pretty solid list. It's good stuff. Good stuff mm -hmm. for for sure. All right. So that is that. We still got a little bit of time. We kicked through that pretty quick. It's only just two of us, not four of us, just arguing over each other. Yeah, and Jess, you know, he's probably uh, relieved that he doesn't have to hear us talk about manga. We can keep talking about manga. I'm going to make him watch this show. <laughs> watch the playback. Yeah, Take gotta, notes. Dude, Jess, you really got to watch tonight's show. There was a, there, it was great. We did, there was some crazy <laughs> stuff happening, but you have to watch it. I can't really explain it, and it's just going to be just manga talk. <laughs> He's going to hate it. Hmm. 
All right, so I guess uh, we got a little bit of time. Let's do uh, some some Q and A. I guess uh, this is our chance to kind of throw yeah. out some love to the chat. If you have any questions or comments or anything you want to talk about, we'll we'll answer. We'll field those questions for you guys today. I mean, yeah. yeah let me start with you, uh, Gio. I, I remember you saying that you're cutting back a little bit for this year, right? Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, first, I don't have a ton of room for uh, collected editions, so I'm just sticking to the manga that I'm already collecting, which you can sort of see in the background. Stuff like My Hair Academia, uh, Demon Slayer, Dr. Stone. I, I have all of Berserk, but I'm upgrading, um, I'm upgrading when the deluxes come out, so I have the three of them back there. And uh, what else am I getting? Junji Ito books. I'm a big fan of Junji Ito. I love his horror. Uh, One Piece, which I don't have here. I have in another shelf. Uh, stuff like that I'm going to continue getting. Beastars. Uh, but, uh, you know, I don't want to fall into that trap of having to get a book simply because it's coming out. Like, mm -hmm. A lot of people fall into that, like, oh, I need this book, and next week there's another book, and then three weeks from now, another book, and you're not reading them, or in my case, I tend to not read them right away, and you're basically doing a monthly or, uh, or a weekly subscription to books you're not reading, and I don't want to do that. I want a sort of personal cha um, channel to talk about other stuff, you know, manga, books, yes, they will be there, comics, but I also want to talk about other nerdy stuff because that was the original purpose of the channel talk about nerd culture you know gaming movies all that stuff so i am going to be cutting back i'm still going to be reading books don't worry about it because i got way too many books here and i am going to be reading online stuff you know digital stuff because i do have comicsology etc cetera, etc cetera. so if i do talk about books on this channel it'll probably be uh digitally sorry for anybody that was expecting me to bring out massive halls <laughs> No man, I hear you, dude. I I I feel the same way. I'm I'm running out of room. I'm running out of stuff that I like. That's why, I, man. I I started finding all this great manga stuff to read, and I jumped in really deep, but not too deep. I don't have much of a I don't have a backlog really, which is good. I'm gonna try and keep it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, I I think we've all fallen into the the backlog wormhole that you can never really dig yourself out of. Uh, yeah. So right now, I the, those two new. One Piece books I got. Uh, the 20th Century Boys Volume 1 and Pluto Volume 1. That's that's my only backlog when it comes down to manga right now. And I want to kind of nice. keep it that way. I want to kind of burn that stuff down. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, wait. I got three three volumes of My Hero Academia, but I've been watching the anime. So Yeah, you're, you're good. The anime, to me, is a really flawless adaptation of the manga. You're good. Are you caught up on the uh, on the anime? Uh, no, because I when I watch the animes when I buy the Blu-rays because I'm reading the manga, so I, I keep up with the manga. When I get a new blu I cut off there. <laughs> it's okay. And then, man, you could you could fit so much manga in these in these uh, Kalak shelves too. So I'm gonna make some space. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look behind me. That's 40 volumes of Berserk, and there's still some room to add more. Yeah, you can still stack stuff there. Yeah, I'm gonna know what your yeah. uh, your One Piece. What did you do in One Piece? Is it the, the three in ones or the single volumes? Uh, yeah, the three in one. The three in ones. Mm -hmm. I have up to volume 22. And I think the latest one is 28 or 29, I think. What, what volumes are in there? Uh, gosh, I think I'm in the 60s or 70s, something like that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I want to catch up because, like I said, I've seen these guys. They're, they've grown up, and it looks like they've kind of gone through, like, power increases and stuff. I'm like, man, this is, mm -hmm. so, this is so cool. Somebody's asking about sub or dub. Uh, I don't really – mind uh i'll watch both because it's always been a dream of mine uh doing voiceover and voice acting so i i like listening to anime dub but i also watch them subbed because i have a crunchyroll account so i keep up with all the new stuff and that's subbed 
That's in Japanese. So I don't mind. Either is fine. Is Crunchyroll all sub? Yeah. They, they have, they're starting to put out dubs for recent shows, but that's probably like two from like two years up till now. You know, it's always, it's always been sub only. But now we're, we're getting some dub anime. Okay. I, I, I like dub just because. I got kids running around. I don't really have time to sit there and, and read. Like my focus isn't one hundred percent there, so I have to like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I do a lot of packaging at work, and I'll, I'll put on my Hero Academia while I'm packing up all this stuff at work. So that that's the way I can do it. That's why I haven't watched any One Piece because it's not on Hulu, or at least the, the the dubbed versions are not on Hulu. So I haven't been able to get into the One Piece anime. Oh man, uh, if you can, I don't. I need to check. But um, the anime first started like uh, 1998, I think, or 99. Uh-huh. And they did a remastered HD version of the first uh, of the East Blue saga, which is the stuff you're reading. Okay. And it looks so great in the HD revision or whatever. It looks fantastic. So if you can, if you ever want to watch the One Piece anime, I'd suggest watching the HD version. I do think Crunchyroll has it, but you have to be a member to to see it because it's like an exclusive thing. You can watch the regular stuff with the ads, but the uh, HD version, I think it's uh, for the uh, people with accounts and stuff, uh, subscriptions. Oh, man. I got to ask my friend. I got my friend in a One Piece, and he's like already in like like episode like 165 or something crazy Oof. like that. Nice. So, uh, uh sh- shout out to Matthew. He came into our box. The sense new Omni Bros unboxing was too much. Yeah, that was this thing. He's talking about this. I have no idea what that is. Uh, were you here when I talked about it? Because uh, I, I talked about the metal coasters and stuff that's inside. Mm-mm. You weren't here for that? I'm, I'm... Uh, let me. You get a series, uh, 12 episodes, and it has three um, books, who staff interviews, character sketches. You also have like uh, storyboards. And inside this thing, uh, let me show you guys. If I open it up, it comes with, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's a fabric poster, which I'm not going to use, uh, but <laughs> you get the, wait, I opened one. There we go. Copper, uh, I think they're made out of copper, uh, coasters, which they're the real deal. You can hear that. Nice. So I thought that was really cool. And it I got them at the holiday sale. It was like the regular price is like a hundred bucks or something. And this was on sale for like 24, 25. So I jumped on that ASAP. <laughs> That's awesome. Here's a question from the collector. It's kind of a just curious how many of us feel we get highly addictive with books and easily get addicted to other things. I think that's a good uh, question. That's a good, great question. I I tend to go through phases because I, I was addicted to anime, then manga, then comics, then uh, video games. And then uh, for a moment in time, I was really addicted to uh, vinyl soundtracks. I try to not let it consume me but it's it's hard and if you got uh, an addiction problem it, it can be quite difficult to get rid of yeah it's it's i i i've fallen into those traps a lot myself i mean we all have we all kind of share that i think that that collective mentality is kind of an addictive gene mm-hmm. um but you have to for myself realize that you're what you're doing isn't because you want to you're, you're doing it for you know other means or other reasons you know try to keep up with everybody else or i just want you know some retail therapy and buying things kind of you know gives you that little dopamine launch or or whatever 
but you start to realize, you know, I, I've been there. That's why I'm getting, I'm going to start purging things down and, and focus what I'm doing and reading more than I am buying. So good question. Good question from the collector. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenny, good seeing Kenny in the chat. It's been a minute. Uh, yep. Question, guys. I'm thinking about starting to read Daredevil, but I don't have the space for the omnibuses right now. Which essential stories do you recommend? Uh, All right. So I'll go ahead and I'll start this off real yeah. quick with... It uh, doesn't matter what order you read it in. Uh, my top recommendations for Daredevil will have to be Frank Miller, Bendis, and right before Bendis is that Kevin Smith, uh, Joe Quesada, uh, Guardian Devil. So I think those are the, the three that you should really kind of focus on. Um, check out Marvel Comics Unlimited. Check out that app. Uh, I, I would have to assume that those... Uh, popular books are available on there and you could read them at whatever fee the subscription is. I think it's less than $10 a month. Uh, do it that way. But I think those are the essential must read Daredevil stories. Nice. What do you think, Gio? Yeah, I haven't read a whole ton of Daredevil stuff, but uh, the Frank Miller, I think it's essential. Plus, Daredevil is one of these characters that has solid runs throughout, you know, uh, somebody, Al Denver pointed it out, or Bendis, Brubaker, Wade, you know, quality writers writing huge chunks of material for Daredevil. I think that character has been blessed with many excellent runs. Yeah, it's, it's hard. I, I think maybe between like the 80s and the 90s is kind of hit and miss for Daredevil. But since the Daredevil Volume 2 relaunch with the Kevin Smith stuff, it's it's been great ever since that for the most part. You have, like I said, the Kevin yeah. Smith stuff, the David Mack stuff, the Bendis. Then you go into Brubaker and Shadowland. Um, you know, Shadowland, Shadowland. <laughs> uh, but then after that, you get like uh, Lost Days, Mark Waid's run, uh, Chip Zdarsky's run right now is supposed to be really, really good. And uh, who was it? Charles Soul did the last the last run before uh, Chips of Darcy, which also mm. got lots and lots of good praise too. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, and uh, yes, uh, the Bendis stuff is getting reprinted. So, for anybody that's been looking for that book, now's your chance. Now's your chance. Uh, Sequential Consequence says Marvel Unlimited is on sale right now, sixty a year. Nice. That's a damn good price. There you go. Damn good price. I, I would go for that. Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew, you asked us in the chat if you could post links. Uh, I think you can, right? I think you can. I or... think only uh, like the mods can post links. Uh, well, still, go check out his Instagram because he does really cool artwork. Uh, Jesse, I got this shirt. Uh, it was through uh, the Crunchyroll uh, website, actually. You can get nice. shirts and, and, and hoodies and stuff like that. Yeah, they have a uh, merch store. Yeah, El Denver, same thing. Frank Miller, Bendis, Brubaker. That's a good, good pick. Shout out to Nerdy by Nature because he voted for us on the poll. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sledge is telling you, Gabe, to try out Dororo. It's collected in a single massive book from Osamu Tezuka. I agree. Dororo is fantastic. <laughs> I think you will really like it. Or if you want to watch the uh, recent adaptation, which is superb and one of my picks for top show of 2019, you can do that too. You got... Uh, you have Amazon Prime, right? Yes. So you can watch it there for free. Oh, is they, it on they there? have okay. yeah, it's an they had they bought the streaming rights for it, so you can watch it for free. 
that's the hard part these days. I want to watch all this stuff. I got to figure out where it's at. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right now, if you. Funimation, Prime, and Hulu, Netflix, uh, Apple doesn't have anything, nor does Disney. Yeah, six streaming apps for anime. That's insane. So what is it? There's Hulu, uh, Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime's got some stuff. Oh, yeah, Netflix. Yep. Mm-hmm. Crunchyroll, Funimation. Uh, there's another one called High Dive, and. Uh, yeah, like six or seven streaming platforms. Man. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, Highlighter is going to ask us, uh, is there going to be volume two of Silver Age Daredevil or is it another orphaned line like Hulk? I think most of the Silver Age stuff has been orphaned or only had a volume one, right? Besides X-Men and Avengers and Spider-Man. I think because those, like, those are like the three big, big, big books on Thor, but Thor's an Avenger. Uh, I don't see it happening, really. Uh, it's just one of those things. I also I like your, your avatar. It's beginning to look a lot like Epstein didn't kill himself. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I would think, I would probably assume that it's probably going to be just that one and done uh, Silver Age book. Uh, I think that was pretty much released mainly on the shoulders of it being Stan Lee like written uh yeah. silver age silver yeah. age daredevil stuff daredevil was never a, a, a popular big selling book in the silver age uh the collector yes you should watch vinland saga it's great don't worry about the manga you go right into the anime and enjoy it or if you want to pick up the manga because it's one of the top recommended books to get when you're collecting manga. Uh, when is Silver Surfer reprint supposed to be out, Gabe? Somebody's asking. Uh, Nerdy by Nature is asking. It is going to be April 22nd. April twenty second is is the sell date for for that. I had I had the on the bus, but I had the uh, Isak Rubik cover, and mm -hmm. once they announced the reprint, I sold it because I'm just gonna just, I'm, I want that. I have to have the, the classic cover. Yeah, the classic yeah. cover. I have to have that. Uh, Sledge is asking me about the new Dororo manga. Yeah, it's based on the new anime it's not a reprint of the original yep there's a lot of anime i want to watch too i i, I need, i'm going to catch up with the dragon ball z and get into dragon ball super uh but yep. that, that's a whole other deal that's a whole deal. <laughs> yeah i watch so much thing i used to watch so much dragon ball z when i was like a little younger uh i used to watch I used to watch it in, in Spanish because it was it was Spanish uh, translated before it was English translated. So I would watch it in Spanish. I mean, I don't speak oh, Spanish. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and let's uh, let's wind this show down to a halt here. Uh, let's go and end this up, but first. Again, one more big shout out to our sponsor, InStockTrades.com, where, as you can see, scrolling across your screen right now, everybody, is an Omni Bros Live discount code, year in sale, where you can save an additional 3% off your orders through InStock Trades, including this week's new releases that we went over already. Typically, you still get huge, massive discounts through in stock trades up to 42, 50% off, sometimes more, depending on what's going on. Awesome, amazing customer service from all the folks over there, including Emily and Cameron and everybody else who's putting in the hard work getting orders put out and answering mm -hmm. emails. Fantastic, best of the best packaging, instocktrades.com. 
We wanted to give them a, a massive thank you and a shout out for sponsoring us. Heck yeah. Once again, we're coming down to the end of a year of a great sponsorship through that amazing website. That's the best place, the only place to get your omnibus and collected editions, instocktrades.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, before we leave, there's one question for you in the chat from Nman. Okay. Uh, and man, Gabe, do you think Marvel should just reprint the original X Men Omnis instead of releasing upcoming box sets? I would prefer the Omnis. I agree. I do think they should have reprinted the the Omnis. That's what I would have liked to have happened as well, or even to continue with the Epic collections that collect uh, the Silver Age up to. Uh, Chris Claremont and beyond, but yeah, I don't, I'm not a big fan of box sets, uh, but apparently somebody at Marvel really, really high up from what we've been told is a yeah. huge fan of box sets. And that's <laughs> why the Infinity Gauntlet box set came out instead of the reprint and why the X-Men box set's coming out instead of a, a reprint. So mm -hmm. there is some uh, favoritism going on with formats in that regard. <laughs> From what we've, from what my understanding is, yeah. Cool. There you go. All right. Also, and, thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. Just one. Just a good shout out to highlight. To the highlight, thank you so much. Let me take this opportunity to thank the two of you for the dedication put in these shows. Aww. Well done. Yeah, we're gonna continue on to. 2020, we're going to go swinging out the gates. Uh, we upgraded our account here on StreamYard. Once we figure it out, we're also going to be simulcasting here on YouTube. And uh, there is a way to also simulcast live on the On the Bus Collectors Facebook group. So we're, uh, we're going mm -hmm. to try and look forward to that. More to the masses. And you guys can always, always help us out. Uh, share, tell your friends, tell your friends, moms, whomever, uh, come by here and uh, check us out. <laughs> uh, the collector, you're, you're great. <laughs> Thank you for, uh, you know, Matthew, he's been yeah. a, a, a loyal, loyal viewer and always in the chat. So, hell yeah, man. I mean, we couldn't do this show without the fans and the viewers and the listeners and people yeah and hit that like yeah, button you got... of course yeah dick slap that like button <laughs> like the uh, omar story with endgame yeah like omar story with endgame that's right <laughs> watch the omnis for that reference yeah guys two people you never want to stay you want to you want to sit in front of in a movie theater it's omar and Pee Wee herman Uh, do you two have a wish list uh, on ISC, or do you just buy everything you want? Uh, I have a notepad on my computer where I have all the stuff that's coming out that I'm interested in, and then I pick and choose from there. Uh, I just I just kind of cruise through uh, IST uh, if I want something, or through Diamond, and uh, I pick it up that way. I, I don't have a wish list. Uh, even on Amazon, I just can't keep track of it. I've had a, wi a wish list before, and it just, I never end up using it. I just remember what I want and go through. And a lot of times it's just impulse buy. Yeah. If somebody would post something in a group, like, oh, shit, I want that. I need that. I don't have that yet, you know, uh, which I'm staying away from. Candace, thank you. Just found the show recently. That's great. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome in. I don't know if that's uh, her or icon or not, but that's a really cool looking uh, cosplay. Yeah, giant, that's a giant badass. scary sword. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gio, we need more European comic on the podcast. I'm not an expert on it, but I've talked to uh, the rest of the Omni Bros to do an European comic centric episode. So hopefully we'll do that soon. Man, the only thing I could bring to the table on that would be just Mobius. That's like the only European stuff I've ever gotten into. Yeah, a couple Mobius books that I have and uh, stuff like Black Sad I can talk about, but that's about it. 
I have a like like they really I really wish whatever was holding it up. I wish they would kind of you know figure it out. Uh, reprinting Mobius stuff. You know we've been getting it now recently through Dark Horse, but it's not like Airtight Garage or uh, or Blueberry or, or or any of that kind of stuff. I really wish they would do that. I have a couple volumes of Blueberry. Uh, that somebody gave me when I was in Portugal, but it's, so it's all in Portuguese. But the art mm. is beautiful, awesome, just Western cowboy art, good stuff. Candace says uh, yes, that's her in the in the icon. Badass, nice. Badass. All right, let's go ahead and uh, wind this down. Uh, Geo, my homeboy, where can they find you online, sir? You can find me on my channel, A Week in Geekdom. I just posted a really cool haul if you want to check that out. But usually I'm talking about anime, comics, manga. I'm going to try and do more video game content. You know, nerdy stuff. A Week in Geekdom. Subscribe. It'll help out a whole bunch. Hell yeah. And you guys can find me, Instagram, Gabe Loves 90s Comics, and the Omnibus Collectors Facebook group. Thank you, everybody, for sticking around today, hanging out with us. Uh, uh, likes, cares, and shares for Jess. I hope he feels better soon. Uh, I'm sure mm -hmm. he'll be back on the next episode. Uh, but till then, I'm Gabe. That's Geo. We're Omni Bros Live, and we are the fuck out of here. Good night.